Good morning children. This is JC Benoy, your SST teacher. I hope you are all staying home and staying safe. Do not forget to wash your hands again and again and please be careful, all right? Okay. So now let's continue with chapter 3 rotation and revolution. Now today we are going to see how the rotation of the earth causes day and night. We saw yesterday that the earth rotates around its own axis okay now what happens when the earth rotates around its axis one part of the earth faces towards the sun and the other part of the earth will be away from the sun so that is what i have shown in this picture okay that picture shows that one part of the earth is facing towards the sun and as it rotates the other part of the earth is be away from the sun what happens over here now the part that is facing the sun experiences day time and the other half of the earth is experiencing night time okay so that is how we have day and night now you can all try this experiment at home and you can also show it to your parents okay what can you do you can take a globe or a ball place it on one end of a table okay and take switch off all the lights take a torch and light it on the other side of the table okay so from one side of the table you have to shine the torch on the globe which is on the other end of the table what will you observe you will observe that only one part of this globe is receiving the torch light and the other half is dark what does that show it shows that the portion of the earth one portion of the earth is facing the sun and is going to receive daytime whereas the portion that is away from the sun is going to experience night time now what you have to remember is is this torch moving no so what is going to turn the earth or the globe that you are going to turn okay so the torch is going to remain fixed in one place same like the sun the sun is fixed in its own place but it is the earth that is rotating and that is why day and night is experienced okay so the portion that faces the sun is experiencing daytime and the portion that is away from the sun experiences night time okay now we had also learnt about international date line last time correct now what you have to focus is that the earth is divided into two parts by the longitudes in the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere correct and we had also learnt that as we go towards the eastern hemisphere towards the east we gain a day we keep adding a day correct whereas the as we go away from the sun towards the west we keep losing one day now why does this happen that is what we're going to see okay so now you know that the earth rotates around the sun but do you know that it rotates in the direction of west to east yes the earth rotates from west to east can you see that arrow in that picture the red color arrow okay so it is moving in that direction the earth is rotating towards the sun in the direction of this red color arrow from west to east so what happens because of that what happens is this imagine that the first line which is towards the sun where does the sun rise by the way it rises in the east correct so that means that the sun is towards the east okay is the sun moving up and down no the sun is in its own place so what is moving the earth okay so now imagine that the red big arrow is in the west in which place is that west and that is the usa okay and the first longitude which is there near the sun is india okay so what is that the first line which is there near the sun towards the east is india and the arrow is usa okay now the line which is which i have marked on the first okay the first line which is marked that is india and it is in which hemisphere it is in the eastern hemisphere why is it in the eastern hemisphere you all know it is in the eastern hemisphere it is in the east near the sun okay now what happens the earth is rotating correct now when the earth is rotating it is moving from west to east correct so what is going to happen india is going to go behind and the arrow which is usa is going to come near the sun 
so what is how much time does it take for the earth to revolve uh, rotate around itself 24 hours so now usa is going to move slowly 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 and come near the sun in how much time it's going to take 24 hours okay for the earth to rotate so slowly the U, uh, usa comes towards the east okay and when the U when usa reaches east it is going to experience daytime and at that time where is india going to be india is going to be in the west away from the sun so what is india going to experience night time okay and that is why it shows that in 24 hours all the places that are near the sun in the eastern hemisphere are going to turn away from the sun and are going to experience night time and all those places that are there in the western hemisphere away from the sun are going to come closer to the sun and they are going to experience daytime so when usa is going to experience night time india is going to experience daytime when india has daytime usa has night time and that is why there is a 24 hour difference one day difference between the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere okay so now we have learned that the earth rotates around itself around its axis and this axis is at 23 and a half degree tilt okay and the rotation of the earth the spinning movement of the earth takes 24 hours now apart from this movement the earth is also going around the sun okay can you see that picture that yellow color line that is there around the sun okay so what does that shows show it shows that the earth is moving around the sun and this movement of the sun around uh, sorry this movement of the earth around the sun is called the revolution of the earth and it takes 365.25 days how much time does it take 365.25 days okay now we're going to focus on the 365 days okay now this path on which the earth rotate uh, revolves around the sun okay that white color line which you can see is called the orbit what is it called it is called the orbit you can also see that yellow line over here in this picture okay what is that yellow line on the picture it is the path on which in uh, the earth rotate uh, revolves around the sun this line is called the orbit okay so it's not like the earth roams around like a zigzag pattern okay it doesn't go like that in the space it goes in a specific pattern that pattern is the orbit that path is the orbit of the earth okay now we are going to take how much time does the earth take to revolve around the earth around the sun it takes 365 days now you know 365 days is one year so what happened to that 0.25 okay 0.25 days is equal to 6 hours okay so what we do is we can't have this odd 6 hours extra so it becomes difficult for us so what have we decided to do we have started collecting those uh, 6 hours for 4 years till it totals 24 hours okay what has happened 6 hours we have collected for 4 years and we have ended up with 24 hours that is 1 day okay now how many days are there in february every year usually it is 28 days okay but how many year, days did february have this year 29 correct now how did we get that 29 day okay that is the leap day that extra day which we jump one day okay and this extra day is added to which month it is added to february month okay is it added every year no it is added only every fourth year now this fourth year in which february has 29 days is called a leap year okay what is it called a leap year okay why is it a leap year because there is this leap day one day we jump and we add it to february every four years okay which is called a leap year and so in a leap year instead of 365 days how many days do you have you have 366 days how many days do you have in a leap year 366 days okay so this is why we have one extra day because of that extra six hours that in uh, that the earth takes to revolve around the sun now we are going to stop here 
please go through this video again and again you will not be able to you may not be able to understand it in just one viewing please re repeat watching it to try to understand the concept we'll continue with the rest of the lesson in the next video thank you